Hey YouTube, what is going on? I'm a V-King here with a, another awesome video for you today. I want everybody to understand how to, know, how to do this electricity stuff, this radiant energy stuff, this tapping into the infinite ether energy network. You know what I'm saying? For those of you that have been following my page on Facebook, I appreciate your support and all of your wisdom and your inputs on my designs. Now generators and magnetism are very funny things and when it comes to high frequency of say 20 kilohertz you get much more unique results from it. It's just a generator guys. Putting that back in there so the gas tries to seep downward and then we will, uh, even just to prove it here, I will move this lead of my coil completely over here. And I will keep this lead of my coil right there. This coil is 10.6 ohms. Then I will put one lead down here, one lead right here. And look at that. Yes! There we go. Look at that. Look at that beautiful shit. So, once again, this is a portable, plasmable generator, ladies and gentlemen. Now, for the next event you'll be seeing, I will create an even more powerful generator with a bigger coil design. Yes. Now let me show you the power rating of this real quick, and we are going to peace out for the day. All right, so I have my one base red lead hooked up to the battery pack, and what will it do? Oh. What do I get here? 100 millivolts. Well, it won't tell me. But I am getting a volt rating, so the amps are insanely high, and the volts are only staying at roughly 100 volts, 100 millivolts. This coil design appears to be a current generator. It's pulling in massive amounts of current instead of voltage. Isn't that something? If that really is the case, then that's probably why this thing powers. Right? Doesn't do anything like that. Alright, now if we disconnect the lead, we hook one of the leads up to the bulb, just to show you nothing, no tricks are being played. Okay. You can see that it is impossible to light the bulb unless you have this coil hooked up to it. You know what I mean? I gotta get it hooked up over here because it's way easier to do it this way. And if I see, crazy, and it stays partially tuned. I think this has everything to do with resonance, but <clears throat> as far as I will keep it concerned, this is going to be labeled a the easiest do-it-yourself plasma ball generator. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to do better on my next videos. Peace, guys.